This is an, uh, an exciting show for me because it's been really quite a few years since I've shown work like this. I've been doing uh, using art for social purposes other than just to be art. I mean, if that makes any sense. And so what I'm trying to do here is uh, reclaim a little, little, little part of my humanity that got dropped as I've been doing an awful lot of political work in the last 10 years, which I continue to do, but um, I found that, and, and, and to some extent was surprised to find that uh, the impulse and imagination to do this kind of painting was still present. You know, this show is, has a lot to do with um, me uh, just exploring how I feel about myself and the world today, uh, apart from making direct political statements, and uh, perhaps how I feel in response to some of that political stuff, just uh, uh, again without the direct political aspect to it. By nature, I am a hopeful, actually gregarious person who prizes his time alone because uh, that's when I feel and think and meditate on those thoughts and feelings and actually then can use them to be creative. But I love being around people, I love being with people, I love with children, I love you know the interaction of working with kids and other people. I like collaborating. And, and so it's kind of, uh, there's a certain irony in the fact that a lot of my art is about that isolatedness, um, if that's a word, <laughs> isolation. And so, um, there's um, you know there's there's some uh, you know a lot of personal upset and pain that creates that isolation for me in these pictures. There's also a very you know autobiographical sense of what I've been doing the last uh, uh, nine or ten years in a very you know uh, earnest and uh, uh, engaged way of trying to be just like the figures in some of these paintings, the, the calling out, the warning, and uh, feeling that it's a, a certain sad feeling that it, not that it's not gone anywhere, but the victories of that are uh, personal and minimal. What I mean personal is I mean, you, you know, you know you get through to some people, and um, it's extremely heartwarming when that happens. You know, one child, um, is given courage by a painting and then confronts an issue in his or her life and something changes in that personal life and you think, that's worth it, you know, that, that makes it all worth it. Um, I, I spend an awful lot of time these days talking with children in schools and um, when I'm, I often ask them at the beginning of a discussion, why do we paint or, or why do we make art? And of course you get an enormous range of responses but always in there there's somebody says, well, to express ourselves. And I often try to make the point to them that that, um, in a sense, that um, that doesn't go nearly far enough in terms of what the power of art is. I mean, I think ask any real artist that if you, if when they set out to make art, um, you think you have something that you want to say. And the process, of course, creates something else. And you find that um, maybe what you thought you wanted to say wasn't nearly enough or it was only the beginning of something, that in fact you discover uh, quite a bit more about yourself and the nuances and the direction of what you wanted to say in the process of making the art. Uh, 